Now it's just me. Let's get to work. It's raining now, so let's prospect for a shelter location. The landscape here is spectacular. Very thick brush and woods. Things to kind of keep in mind. There were flash floods here not too long ago, so I want to pick a good spot so I don't get washed away. I know that doing less work and accomplishing the same goal is worthwhile. I know that picking a good location for my shelter is worthwhile because that's going to be home for me. So that's about three inches of insulation from the ground. Primitive survival has been something very much incorporated in my life for over 10 years. I did six years in the military in the Canadian Armed Forces, where I would specialize in cold weather warfare and survival. So I'm confident about building shelters and making fires in wet, cold environments. Being in the military, I know what I'm capable of, and I'm very methodical with what I do. I think I have a leg up in the competition because I'm a general practice doctor with a high inclination towards emergency medicine and wilderness medicine. I have a previous injury, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make an improvised splint and wrap with my medical training. Anything that you can pull me out for, I'll treat before you get to me. So no pulse and no bleed means that's the correct way to put a tourniquet. Becoming a doctor is expensive. 500K would mean being able to pay off my student loans, and then the rest would go into helping renovations for my mom's home. That would be good for her health. Thanks, Mom. I think I can do this because I'm a little bit of a masochist. I love the type of person you become after the struggle. I'm a doctor, and I'm a soldier, so I have a hell of a lot of mental fortitude. I plan on going day 90 plus. I'm going to be up there as long as possible. 